The Amazing Evolution of Cameras, Part 2 After the box camera and detective cameras, photographic film became available by George Eastman. He started with a paper film and then moved into celluloid in 1889. He named his first camera the Kodak and offered it for sale in 1888. The Kodak was a simple, fixed-focus lens, single shutter speed, and expensive box camera. It had film for 100 exposures when it was purchased and had to be sent back to the company to be processed and reloaded when the roll of film was finished. Then came the Brownie. It was simple, cheap, and made what was known as snapshots. The Brownie was around for 1900s to the 1960s in various manifestations. Film made way for the movie cameras as well. The 35mm camera came next which provided a compact camera that could make high quality enlargements. In 1948, a new type of camera appeared to the scene called the Polaroid Model 95. This was the first ever instant picture camera. It was expensive, but the fact that it could produce a print from exposed negatives in less than a minute made it wildly popular. The first attempt at building a digital camera came in 1975 by an engineer at Eastman Kodak named Steven Sasson. It was not produced for sale, but did further the technical innovation necessary for the future production of the digital camera. By the late 1980s, true digital cameras were being produced, and since 2003, digital camera sales have exceeded sales of film cameras in developed countries. We have a handy little camera we'd like for you to see. Go to www.ronsamazingproducts.com Oh, did we say it was also a pen? <laughs>